Hey, yo, what's up with the static one? There it go. Hey, turn me up a little bit. Yeah. I got some sinister ways, dealing with sinister things. Ray Ban frames, keeping the top in my aim. I feel drained, running from money and fame. Don't feel. What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Beer Gut Plays here, back at it with another episode of the WWE 2K24 My GM Mode. Now, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you guys like the content, be sure you super kick that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Hopefully you guys have checked out the channel's sponsor for today, W Energy. W Energy, guys, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal product. I absolutely love it. I use it on a daily basis, whether I'm trying to get in a quick workout, doing one of these videos for you, or just, you know, needing energy while I am at work. Click the link in the video description below. Use the code BEERGUT at checkout and you will save yourself a discount on your order. We're going to have an action-packed night of wrestling on this episode of Monday Night Raw. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. We're going to get to the video. As you guys can see in the opener, it is going to be for the tag team title or the women's tag team titles. Um, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven taking on Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Gunther is going to be taking on Jay Uso. Cody Rhodes will be battling Sheamus and Rhea Ripley battling Nikki Cross. Guys, I hope you guys are super excited about this episode because I am super excited to bring it to you. This is going to be an action-packed night of wrestling, and obviously I am super excited about it. Now, I apologize. I did promise to do a continuation of the live stream to do the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, my rise mode unfortunately your boy got sick over the weekend and now I am starting to feel a little bit better we are recording this on Monday shortly before Monday Night Raw and hopefully you guys enjoy it we will pick up on the live stream action next week or, or in this week I guess I should say about nine, uh, 10 o'clock. We will be doing it at 10 o'clock on this channel. So hopefully you guys are excited about it because I am excited to bring it to you. I think we are going to have an absolute wonderful time on this with this. Um, I'm sorry, with this live stream. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We are going to get to the action, though. It is going to be. We're going to have a hell of an opener, I I feel anyway. I feel like it's going to be a fun little opener in Long Island, New York, in the gym arena. Can't say that I am super excited about this one. It, it, well, I am excited about this. It, two women's tag teams that absolutely just slay. They slay on, on this. And Candice LeRae is such an underrated talent such a phenomenal wrestler i i'm super excited to see where this goes where this little feud goes i think we're gonna have some great matches in the coming weeks and months and hopefully we get some more wrestling you know more matches hopefully we get i would like to add some superstars to this roster and hopefully add you know, I'd like to add the last member of Judgment Day, Dominic Mysterio. I don't know if he's going to be available. We snagged J.D. McDonough from Friday Night SmackDown. So hopefully we get a somewhat good roster. I, I think we're going to have some good, good wrestling on this channel. Indy Hartwell on her way to the ring. Obviously, I am a huge fan of Indy Hartwell. I think she is phenomenal. 
I think she's great. And as you guys can see, hoping to capture these women's tag team titles from Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Sorry, absolutely love that. I, I am a huge fan of, oh God, what's her name? Um, Samantha Irvin doing that constantly. And now we get the women's tag team champions on their way to the ring. Hopefully we can have a solid, solid match and, you know, maybe pick up a big time victory for, you know, Piper, or, uh, I'm sorry, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. It is absolutely insane to think that these girls are, you know, these two girls, well, I know Chelsea's been working for a very long time. I remember she was in, um, oh God, she was in, um, sorry again, brain freezing here. So again, I'm not a hundred, I, I knew she was in Lucha Underground. TNA, TNA. She was big in TNA for a while. Laurel Van Ness. Hopefully we can continue to have a solid, solid, you know. I feel like the first debut episode was really good. You know, headlined by CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes. But I feel like we could have some really, really strong matches here. Sorry. Oh. There we go. That's better. And here we go. This is going to be a barn burner for sure. Hopefully we have a solid, solid wrestling, you know, a solid night of wrestling. I'd be down with that and hopefully we can continue the way that this feud is going. Start of a potential really good feud here. Probably should turn that fan off. Sorry guys, it's a little warm in here. There we go. Hopefully that kind of settles everything down. And Candice LeRae starts out with that Hurricane Rana. Candice LeRae whips Chelsea Green to the outside. Candice LeRae with the diving DDT on the outside. Oh my God, this is an absolute insane start to the match. Code Breaker on the outside. These two girls just giving it their all. And they lock up. Chelsea throws Candace into the barricade. What a reversal by Candace LeRae. Not a bad way to start the mushroom stomp, the Mario mushroom stomp. If you're of a certain age, you definitely remember the Mario mushroom stomp. Up to a count of six. And Chelsea's head... Oh, God, it was a draw. What a interesting way to start that, this event, a draw. All right, Ken, uh, we are going to have a little bit of advertising right there. Next match on the card, it is going to be Gunther taking on current United States champion Jay Uso in a non-title match. Last week's match was absolutely epic, and those two guys have a very good chemistry where they work very well together. And, you know, just an absolute insane matchup. 
I, I feel like we're gonna get a lot of the same qualities in this match, but who knows? I know the rating system, it's a little bit better than last year's, I feel anyway, but it was a little odd to have. Well, I guess the, the, the double count out really kind of screwed things up. I, I guess that's, that's one thing that we could have potentially fixed. The battery running low on my controller. God. <laughs> And that was my fault. I don't know why I didn't cut... Well, I know why I didn't cut that out. Crazy, though, huh? And United States Champion Jey Uso on his way to the ring. I feel like this is going to be a sleeper match if I've ever saw one. These guys... These two guys have such a chemistry together they work so well and have just phenomenal phenomenal you know matches the we've seen in real life and in this particular series they were absolutely they tore the house down on week one excuse me but yeah, these guys absolutely tore the house down, had a great start to the mat, you know, great start to the season. Hopefully, I, I'm going to try and get in two complete seasons before this thing's over. I, I apologize. Uh, we're a little bit behind the eight ball because of my foolishness. I, um, as you guys may know already, uh family dog passed away um should have took a little bit more time to grieve did not and i screwed up i accidentally deleted the video and here we are so i, I but in in all fairness i feel like this could potentially be better than the last series so i'm super looking forward to where everything's gonna go we're gonna get this match up underway they both miss starting out, and Jey Uso with the headbutt, that head as hard as a coconut, takes down Gunther and drops an elbow, and Jey Uso tees off on Gunther, Gunther with the counter, Gunther with the chop, and that did not feel good, Gunther reverses it, and they lock up. Gunther going to take this to the outside with a back drop on the hardest part of the ring. That apron, that could not feel good. And the Uranagi slam by Gunther. Absolutely just starting out to kill him. Short arm clothesline. And Jey Uso is down. He's getting back up. I kind of I would love to see Gunther do a suicide dive through the ropes, but I, I I do understand that's not really his mo. That that's all right though. Jay Uso gonna get through the ropes and gets hit with a drop kick. Misses on that. Jay Uso is quicker than a cat here, and Gunther reverses it. And you're going to see it happen again. Drops Jey Uso right on the hardest part of the ring. Telling Jey Uso to get up. Get up. Kicks him in the face. Hits him with the STO takedown. Jey Uso has not been able to find any sort of anything as we get started here. And no sort of offense really for Jey Uso after such a great victory last week. Jey Uso just is getting obliterated here. And Gunther going top rope. The big man does not usually go to the top rope. The high rent district hits the knee drop to the head. 
Jay Uso in a world of trouble gets hit with chops and punches and hits the Death Valley driver. Uso tosses Gunther out of the ring. Misses the dive. Oh my God. Goodness gracious, Jay ain't able to get a lick of offense in. Short arm clothesline. And now Gunther calling for the finish. Gunther calling for the finish. Power bomb and goes for the pin account. One, two, three. Gunther is victorious. Absolutely hell of a way to start this bad boy out. I cannot complain. I feel like this was a solid match. I, I think if I could go back and re redo it, I should have probably put this as the opener. But I feel like we had a pretty good match. Three stars, Gunther and Jey Uso building that rivalry up. Austin Theory doing a little advertising promo. CM Punk going to run in and interfere between Cody and Sheamus. One and a half star. Damian Priest going to cut a promo for us. And now it is main event time. Rhea Ripley taking on Nikki Cross. This should be a killer matchup. These two have chemistry from way back in the day. And these two, I feel like, can have a solid, solid match. Stomps it down. I, I will say this. Went to WrestleMania, uh, you know, in Philly. Had a phenomenal, phenomenal time. I got, I had a lot of great videos, had a lot of fun, absolutely enjoyed everything that happened that WrestleMania weekend, and I tell you, wouldn't do it again, just because of, I'll be honest, if it, if it came to Baltimore or DC, I would go, but never gonna go if it's in a, Philly isn't a bad city, it's just, it was such a hectic I had to drive, you know, two hours to Jersey. My older sister lives in Jersey, stayed with them for the weekend. Had to drive everywhere, and it just wore out on me. But would do it again if it was in the right place. Now, again, don't ever think they're going to get a, a WrestleMania in Baltimore, but I could be wrong. Um... And DC, unless unless the the you know we get a new stadium in DC or Vienna, Virginia, whatever you know it, it it's not happening in this area. A little sad it didn't it didn't go to Minnesota, but also understand the reasons why. What a way to end this Monday Night Raw can't say that I'm not excited for it. Uh, you know, this match obviously is going to be killer. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of big high spots. A lot of, you know, Rhea Ripley, obviously one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. Or Nikki Cross slides in under the ring rope. Ooh. Again, as you guys know, we are in the middle of summer, so I am currently just sweating my butt off. And I, I'm absolutely ready for this. Rhea Ripley ready to go. So is Nikki Cross. Let's get this thing underway. Rhea Ripley starts off with a big boot to the face. They lock up. 
Oh, Re uh, Nikki Cross with the counter, but Rhea's gonna counter the Irish whip, throws her into the turnbuckle, hits her with the big boot. Rhea calling her shot. Oh, oh God. That cannot feel good for the tailbone as Rhea Ripley landed booty first on that that very thin padding and Rhea, Rhea in trouble here. Not so much. Oh, God. And... Oh, look at the raw strength of Rhea Ripley just to put her down with the power slam. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the clip right there. Super kick. Action taken right to Nikki there. German suplex on the floor and Rhea Ripley picking her up. Counter by Nikki Cross and Nikki Cross with the short arm clothesline very reminiscent of Jake the Snake Roberts. And now tugging and pulling on the face of Rhea Ripley. Trying to work the body over. What a German or a, a snap suplex. And Nikki Cross looking like a little ball of fire as she locks in the sleeper hold. Jesus. These two girls are not giving up. DDT and a pinfall kick out, not even a one count. Holy moly. And the electric chair slam has put down Nikki Cross. Gonna go for the cover. Kick out by Nikki Cross. Now Rhea's mad. And she's calling for it. Kick to the gut, pump handle suplex, and the rip tied. And Nikki Cross cannot kick out. That is going to be a big time victory for women's champion Rhea Ripley. Absolutely insane way to end this episode. I feel like we had a much, uh, or a pretty good outing. I feel like maybe my placement of the card was not good. Two and a half stars. I feel like the placement on this card was not as good as it could have been, but that's that's just my, my own doing. I will learn to be a better GM as the time goes on. Excuse me. Akira Tozawa. Wow. Would love to grab him, but would have loved to have grabbed Chad Gable too, but meh. Stuff happens. And a big time victory for Tamina and Becky Lynch. Not super worried about what's going on on the other brand. We got a little bit more money though. Health Spa. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome JD McDonough to the roster. We did snag we did use the cheat code card to snag him. We are gonna set this lineup and hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Do I wanna get the the upgrades or just save my money until the pay-per-view? We got a couple cards that we can play, but nothing that I really want to play yet. Opener is going to be... Again, sorry, my phone. It's sitting on my computer desk. It, It's not on vibrate, so we're going to keep just looking at these contracts. I don't know why. I don't know why we're doing that. We're gonna set this thing up finally. God. Rhea Ripley and Nikki Cross gonna have a rematch. That's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be for the women's title. We're gonna do a promo here. It is gonna be a 
roll change. We're gonna do a couple roll changes here. Um, obviously, it is gonna be Grayson Waller gonna do be one of them. Um, all right. What's the next match gonna be? What is the next match gonna be? Holy crap! Come on, beer gut. Ain't got all day. There we go. It is going to be Sheamus taking on J.D. McDonough. That, that, that should be a solid match. Uh, next one, it is going to be a roll change again. It is going to be Austin Theory this time. We, we can't have two heel tag teams on the brand. So, up next, if, again, it... My controller was acting weird, so I apologize. It is going to be the women taking on again. We want another match between them two. And then we are going to do some advertising here with Jey Uso. That, that four-star rating is going to be good. Cody Rhodes taking on CM Punk. And that's going to be the end. Well... That's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys like the content and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you super kick that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more wrestling content. Be sure to check out the video's sponsor for today, W Energy. I, I left it linked in the video description below. Use the code BEERGUT at checkout and save yourself a discount on your order. Now, guys, before we roll up out of here, it, it, just a reminder of the schedule. It is Tuesdays and Saturdays this will be dropping. Er, I'm sorry. Tuesdays and Fridays this will be dropping, so be on the lookout for that. Also, Sundays will be MLB The Show, the Orioles franchise, so I'm super excited to bring that to you. And then on Thursdays, we are just going to do a random discussion video. Well, maybe or maybe not. That's not 100% sure yet. But I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace, my friends. Hey, yo, what's up with the static one? There you go. Hey, turn me up a little bit. Yeah. I got some...